A three game set. Astros Chris Sampson winless since last July. Todd Helton getting the day off after the marathon. Thursday night's hero Troy Tulowitzki in the lineup. Top one they're loaded for Tulowitzki. Shot into the left field corner. Scott Pesednik and Willie Tavares score. Five batters in. Rockies are already up two to nothing. Next batter Jeff Baker. Little single up the middle. Ryan Spielborgs and Tulowitzki score. Rockies up four to nothing. Sampson rock two thirds of an inning. Six hits skip six earned. Two batters later, Chris Iannetta drive to left over the head of Carlos Lee. Baker and Barmas score. Iannetta with the double. Rockies up 6 0 in the first 12 minutes and 44 seconds of this one. It took him six hours and 16 minutes to score two runs Thursday night. Now, Friday starting pitcher Franklin Morales flew to Houston before the game on Thursday, so he missed all the excitement. Bottom one. Morales not off to a good start. Miguel Tejada, the fly to left. Pesednik making the running catch, but check this out. His glove gets stuck in the wall. What? Morales able to escape further damage as Pesednik is able to wrench his glove and the ball out of the wall. Inning continues. Two on, two out. J.R. Tolles singles to center. Hunter Pence scores. Astros down 6-4. to four. Rockies pitching coach Bob Apodaca makes the call down to the bullpen. But Morales would settle. Top four with a runner on. It's Tulowitzki. Garrett Atkins scores. Tulowitzki with one of his two doubles on the night. He drove in three. And his Rockies win a third straight. 11-5 is your final. Arizona against the Diamondbacks. 349 looks like the number he's going to get stuck on for the moment because Maddox not his sharpest. In the first, Connor Jackson. Deep into the right center field gap. That big outfield in Arizona. It goes for a triple. Chris Young and Eric Burns both scored 2-0 Diamondbacks. Justin Upton single up the middle. Jim Edmonds throw is wide to third. Mark Reynolds safe at third. Jackson scores 3-0 Arizona. Chris Snyder then long fly ball into the gap in right center field. That goes for a base clearing double. Six nothing snakes. Rough first for Maddox. Six runs on six hits. But he's going to stay out there because they need the work. Jackson. In the second, high, deep, and ultimately gone above the yellow line, his third of the year. D-backs up 7-0. Here comes Jackson again in the sixth with Maddox still in there. Goodwood again. Eric Burns is going to score on the triple. Jackson could have stopped at second to go for the cycle. Instead, hustles to third. That's good baseball. Four hits matches his career high. Maddox threw 113 pitches, his most in three seasons. The Diamondbacks win their 11th in 13 tries. They win it 9-0. So compared to the Rockies, the energy just wasn't there for the Padres. Out hit 4-1 compared to the Rockies on the road. 11 runs to nothing. More importantly, Colorado gets the win. Now they can all get some sleep. Mets and Phillies, tremendous pitching matchup. Johan Santana versus Cole Hamels. Top one were scoreless. David Wright with one aboard off the wall in left center. Ryan Church come on home. Wright with one of his two doubles on the day. And the Amazons are up 1-0 early. Top three, that's the count. It's Wright stepping in again with Jose Reyes on first. He's stealing, sliding headfirst into the knee of Chase Utley. His second stolen bag. Could it be costly? Trainers check Reyes out for a concussion. He would stay in the game. The at bat continues. And it's right after Reyes gets cleared to stay in. Driving the ball to center. Jason Worth diving but not catching right all the way to third with a triple. Reyes scoring easily from second in the Mets dugout. Willie Randolph having some fun. With Reyes, how many fingers do you see? Mets up two to nothing. Johan Santana with plenty of run support in his second career start against the Phillies. He had nine Ks through six scoreless, 105 pitches, 70 for strikes. He finished with 10 strikeouts at the bank. Bottom seven, Santana losing the battle against Chase Utley. That's not coming back. Utley with his fifth home run of the season, and the Phillies are down two to one. Top eight after Hamels intentionally walks him, loaded J.C. Romero in in relief. Carlos Delgado, possible double play grounder to first, bobble by Ryan Howard, gets the out at first. Church scores from third. Mets up three to one would add two more in the inning. Bottom eight, Greg Dobbs, pinch hitting with two aboard. Aaron Heilman has to turn and watch it fly. It's a three-run shot. Dobbs with his first of the season, and the Phillies are fighting down five to four. Bottom nine, Mets up six to four now. Billy Wagner on for the save. Pedro Feliz 
Grounds out to right at third. Wagner with his third save of the season, making four straight wins for the Amazing. 6-4 is your final. Back to baseball. Mark Jackson's Yankees are out of the Red Sox here till July. The Rangers at the Fens on Friday to face Daisuke Matsuzaku, who rings up Ian Kinsler's swinging. Then gets Josh Hamilton swinging. Fastball again. How about the change up to Milton Bradley? Matsuzaka, five and a third, five hits, three earned run. He struck out four. Bottom third base is loaded for David Ortiz. He gets the ovation despite being 0 for 18 at Fenway this season. He is first pitch slamming. Grand slam to left field, and David Ortiz is putting the pop back in Poppy. His second homer of the season, first in his home park. He was two for four, drove in five. Another five in the fourth for the Sox. Dustin Pedroia muscling up this time, his first of the season, 9 1 Sox. Next batter, David Ortiz. Inside, did it, did it hit him? Jerry Meals eventually agrees that it did. I don't know. Pretty close. Ron Washington certainly thought it did not. It didn't matter. He stuck around to see the end. Sox win it 11 3. Daisuke is now 4 0 on the season. As for Poppy, began the night with the worst batting average of any major league regular before breaking out. He doubled his RBI total on the season with that one swing of the bat and tacked on one later for good measure. Yankees Orioles, New York in the first of a 10 game road trips. Recently retired Steve McNair throwing out the first pitch. Top six bags full for Melky Cabrera. Daniel Cabrera unfazed. Gets Melky swinging. Cabrera out of a jam. We stay tied at one. Bottom six. Orioles bats starting to heat up. Luke Scott. Little single to center with two aboard. That'll score Nick Markakis. And Baltimore has a 2-1 lead. They're on the corners for former Mariner great Adam Jones. Jones steps in against Phil Hughes. A little weak grounder to third. A-Rod double clutching. Oops. Kevin Millar come on home. Now that would chase Hughes. Orioles up 3-1. to one. After LaTroy Hawkins intentionally walks him loaded, pinch hitting Jay Payton. Steps in. A little flare to right. Scott and Jones school. O's with a seven run sixth. Baltimore now eight and three at home as the O's win eight to two. Tigers and the Blue Jays. 2004 first round pick David Percy making his major league debut Friday. Top two. Full count to Gary Sheffield and Percy with the bases loaded. Freezes Chef. Percy four to third. Seven walks, three Ks. Bottom five tied at one. Kenny Rogers against Shannon Stewart with two on and two out. Stewart tripling to the wall in center. Greg Zahn and John McDonald score. Stewart one for four, drove in two. Blue Jays up three to one. Top seven. Maglia Ordonez with one aboard, doubling the left. That'll score Sheffield. We're tied at four. Tigers finally giving Kenny Rogers some run support. Two batters later, Carlos Guillen with a man aboard. Hard grounder up the middle. Ordonez scores. Error on John McDonald. Tigers up 5-4. Next batter, Edgar Renteria. You betcha. Renteria 2-4. for four, Drove in 3. Tigers win 8-4. Andrew Jones, first visit to Atlanta since signing with the Dodgers. He is off to a miserable start in L.A. Played his first 12 seasons with the Braves. Leading off, looks at strike 3 from Jeff Bennett there. Jones strikes in again. Swinging in the fourth, one for three, had sort of a meaningless double in the ninth. Chipper Jones, on the other hand, still productive in Atlanta. That's crushed. Three-run poke, third homer in two nights. Braves go up 5-0 later in the inning. Brian McCann, grouped to center field. Couple of Braves out there. Raphael for call and Jones collide. Everybody okay. Ball falls to the ground, which is a bigger problem. In the seventh, 5-1 Braves. Jones blasting off again, his second of the night. Second straight multi-home run game. First Brave to have back-to-back multi-homer games since his teammate Mark Teixeira pulled it off last season. And Chipper, now batting 455, has more RBIs than games played. Six homers on the season already, including those back-to-back multi-home run games for the third time in his big league career. Giants and Cards for the second straight weekend. Location changes. This time it's St. Louis. And speaking of location, Todd Wellmeyer has found his. Strikes out Fred Lewis in the first. Eugenio Velez looking, then Randy Wynn on the check swing. Wellmeyer struck out six, gave up just one run in seven innings. Todd Wellmeyer crossed Chris Duncan up with Albert Pools on deck in the fourth. 
Full count, Matt Cain walks Duncan, which wouldn't be as big a problem if that guy weren't standing in the box. Uh-oh, and you're so not catching it. Check out where this lands. They still call that Big Mac land, and he found it. 8-1 cards, Pools fourth homer this season. They win an 11-1. The White Sox raised first of a three-game set. Evan Longoria, fresh off signing a six-year, $17.5 million contract extension with the Rays Friday. Top three. The two on and one out, it's Jim Tome abusing the Jeff Neiman offering, tying Mel off for 21st place all time with 511 career jacks. Check it out. Off the catwalk. Tomey's fourth of the season. White Sox up three to nothing. Very next pitch, Paul Canerco. That is good wood. Canerco's third of the season. White Sox up four to nothing. Skipper Ozzy Guillen and Canerco pointing to where Tommy's ball flew. Plenty of run support for Javier Vasquez. Bottom 70 rings up Jason Bartlett. White Sox bounce the race for a sixth time in a row. 9 2 the final. Francisco Liriano's second start since Tommy John's surgery. He and the Twins trying to avoid their eighth straight loss to Cleveland. Liriano walks Ryan Garko to start the second, then Jason Michaels takes a walk. Casey Blake breaks his bat. It drops fortuitously. Garko and Johnny Peralta score in the play, and he ends up 2-0. Meanwhile, Cliff Lee has looked great this year. Just ask Jason Cooper. High cheese got him. Lee gets Brendan Harris chasing. Eight innings pitch. No runs allowed. He struck out eight. His ERA is 0 0.40. Juan Rincon throws behind Blake with the fastball here. Blake shakes it off. Very next pitch. That's your revenge. Into the people. He was two for four. Drove in three. Indians win at 4-0. Cleveland's eighth straight win over many. Mariners Angels first of a three-game set. Tory Hunter at the dish. Kept rear-ended while well, riding in his Bentley on the way to the stadium. Bottom one, Hunter against R.A. Dickey down the line. Sean Figgins and Gary Matthews score. Throw home gets past Kenji Jojima and Vladimir Guerrero scores, but Hunter tagged out at home. Hunter credited with a double. He had three on the day, which ties a career high he set in 2001. Halo's up 3 0. Top seven. With two aboard, it's Richie Sexton abusing the Joe Saunders offering deep and gone his second of the night. So it's his 26th career multi-homer game. Mariners down 5-4. Top nine, that's the count. Sexton with two outs and one aboard, taking Francisco Rodriguez for a ride. But Hunter is there. It's not career jack number 299 for Big Sexy. Hunter. Spectacular. Mariners' three-game win streak is no more. Halos have won five of six. K-Rod with his Major League Best seventh save of the season. What is better than a Friday afternoon at Wrigley Field? Cubs got a sweep in Pittsburgh. Pirates in Chicago this time. That's Lou Pinella making the walk. He's done that a lot already this season. The Cubs are second in the majors in innings pitched by relievers. Sean Marshall, one of those guys. He's got Derek Lee behind him, a big man with soft hands. That ended the inning. Nate McLeod got a hold of this one. Lee can do nothing about it, nor can any other Cub fielder. Folks in the bleachers have to handle his third home run of the year. His hit streak at 16 games. Pirates down 3-2. Still in the eighth, Carlos Marmol strikes out LaRoche. He had five Ks in relief. And in the ninth, Kerry Wood. Ryan Dumit grounds out to end it. Cubs win 3-2. They've taken four or five and seven straight against the Bucks. Brewers and the Reds. Bronson Arroyo on the bump. Winless in his last six starts coming in. Top two. Brew crew up two to nothing with two aboard. Craig Council rounds toward short. Second baseman Brandon Phillips. Gorgeous. Wow, what a play. Top three. Bill Hall. 17 career home runs against the Reds. That is good wood his sixth of the year brewers up four to nothing arroyo five and two thirds four earned eight hits bottom five ben sheets dealing adam dunn goes down swinging joey Votto. Mm -mm. sheets five innings four k's but would leave the game with tightness in a right tricep bottom nine reds down five to two two on two out paul bacco facing eric gagne gagne it's bacco looking brewers get the victory five to two Time for top plays. Here we go, number 10, Royals A's. Travis Buck to center. Joey Gathright sprinting, diving, and catching. That is gorgeous. Royals, they'll lose 13-2. Nationals and Marlins at it. Johnny Estrada, the Rocket. Andrew Miller. Cadillac. It's really survival is what that is. Marlins lose 6-4. Number eight, White Sox Rays. Jim Tomey. 
obvious rapport between bat and ball. Off the catwalk! Career Jack number 511 tied for 21st all-time White Sox win. Stanley Cup drama John Madden the penalty shot to tie the game against Henrik Lundqvist but Lundqvist comes up huge. Waiting, 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 stopped it. Rangers win 5-3. They own the Devils. Number six, Giants Cardinals. Rajay Davis, liner to second. Adam Kennedy, great grab, makes the throw to first for the DP. Cardinals win big. 11-1, the final. All right, Derek Lee, fly ball, right field at Wrigley. Freddy Sanchez on the move from his position at second base. That is a tremendous grab. And again, Pirates lose 3-2. We're on the ice. Predators, Red Wings, number four, overtime. Johan Franz and the Deke beats Dan Ellis for the winner. Red Wings win 2-1, and OG check it out again. Tremendous. I'll admit it right now, we cheated. This is not a top 10, this is really a top 12. We've got three plays at number three. Craig Council, the chopper up the middle. Brandon Phillips, the backhanded grab. Prince Fielder, liner to second. Phillips again with the leaping catch. Then Phillips, the great stop here to start the double play. They're all from one guy, but it's three plays at number three. What kind of a bargain is that? That's, that's great value. That's a deal. Number two, Champions Tour, Outback Steakhouse Pro-Am, first round. Bobby Watkins, second shot on a par 5, 12, 190 feet away. Under the green, into the cup, double eagle. Number one. Here's the pitch to Sexton. Breaking ball, hit the air to dead center field and deep. Back on that ball goes Hunter at the wall. He leaps up and makes the catch. What a play. Corey Hunter takes a home run away from Sexton. And the Angels win five to four. Brian Bannister on the bump for Kansas City against the A's on Friday. Bottom second game tied at one. Travis Buck bloop to shallow right. That's the Joey Gathright patrols. And he's got some wheels. Look at him from out of the frame. Out of nowhere. Later in the inning, two outs. Jack Hanahan, sharp ground ball to third. Alex Gordon. Look at the defense behind Bannister. Bottom six, A's down 2-1. Bobby Crosby up. Bases loaded, nobody out. That's a double over Martin and left. Jack Costamil Brown, both score, Crosby second double of the night. A's up 3-2, Bannister done. Oakland now up 10-2, Crosby up again. It's a little something for the people out there. Three run, homer to left, his second of the year. Three for four, five RBIs. Oakland scores a season high third.